my dear children of class 11 today i have come before you to teach the first chapter the portrait of a lady by kushwan singh from hornbill your textbook now this is an autobiographical depiction of the grandmother by the author kushwan singh in this short story writes about the attachment a subtle relationship between him and the grandmother and kushwan singh was born in the year february 2nd 1915 and passed away in the year march 20 19, 2014 sir he was an indian novelist lawyer journalist and a politician now let's read the chapter the portrait of a lady now portrait you see the picture portrait see the spelling first p o r t r a i t it has a simple spelling but 99% students commit mistake in writing the spelling portrait they write p o t r a i t understood so be very specific about the spelling of portrait now what's the meaning of portrait children portrait means a painting a drawing a picture and here portrait represents the picture of the grandmother of kushwan singh and this short story is a loving tribute of kushwan singh to his grandmother and there we find a beautiful bond of attachment between kushwan singh and his grandmother now let's read the story my grandmother like everybody's grandmother was an old woman now my grandmother like everybody's grandmother it's quite natural that grandmother with the word grandmother there is a conception in everybody's mind that grandmother is old isn't it that's why we call grandmother now my grandmother this is written in the first person narrative as it's an autobiographical depiction was an old woman so first we get the description of the grandmother of kushwan singh that she was an old woman she had been old and wrinkled for the 20 years that i had known her for a long period of 20 years the narrator had been observing her the same wrinkled and old people said that she had been she had once been young and pretty and had even had a husband but that was hard to believe that means kushwan singh held his grandmother in an elevated position and didn't want to think that once she was pretty she had a husband okay now my grandfather's portrait hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room now grandfather's portrait also hung above the mantelpiece what is mantelpiece mantelpiece is actually a ledge type thing l e d g e which is placed above the fireplace in the drawing room and he wore a big turban and loose fitting clothes his long white beard covered the best part of his chest and he looked at least 100 years old so a small description of the grandfather is also there in this chapter so underline this because in this short story the main protagonist is a grandmother so students neglect this portion okay so question may come because cbs is very unconventional we may question you in this way write a short description of the grandfather so if you neglect this part then you will fail to answer this simple question the sort of person who would have a wife or children he looked as if he could only have lots and lots of grandchildren so the narrator wanted to see his grandfather as old and grandmother also as old as for my grandmother being young and pretty the thought was almost revolting that means there was a sort of resentment in the mind of the grandson that grandmother was once young and pretty she often told us of the games she used to play as a child and if you have grandmother then you will also listen to the ishop's fables and all from your grandmother isn't it that seemed quite absurd and undignified on a part so what i said just now that 
the grandmother was held in an elevated position in an exalted position in an esteemed position by the grandson that's why it seemed quite absurd and undignified on a part that she was once pretty and we treated it like the fables of the prophets she used to tell us now she had always been short and fat and slightly bent now the description of the grandmother is given here you see fat and slightly bent wrinkled face couldn't walk straight and always prayed okay <clears throat> just a minute children again there's a slip of pen now you see she had always been short and fat and slightly bent the picture is given there her face was a criss cross of wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere that means due to old age her face was wrinkled no we were certain she had always been as we had known her old so terribly old that she could not have grown older and had stayed at the same age for 20 years so this shows immense love and affection affinity and regards for the grandmother she could never have been pretty but she was always beautiful what a beautiful language you see just try to understand the difference between pretty and beautiful what's the difference now pretty can be had by decking yourself up isn't it one can deck oneself up and become glamorous but beautiful means who is internally chaste who is internally virgin who is internally immaculate and that is reflected in the face because face is a reflection of the mind so that person is beautiful so grand to the grandson grandmother is always beautiful she hobbled about the house in spotless white with one hand resting on her vest to balance her stoop at the other telling the beads of her rosary now she hobbled about the house i mean she couldn't walk straight she used to limp and always prayed with the beads of rosary now what is rosary children mythologically rosary represents the fruit of a tree which is formed from the tears of lord shiva it is actually in hindi called rudraksh and in bengali rudrakho there is no synonym of rosary okay so we call it rudraksh in this way we will have to understand and the grandmother always chanted prayers counting the beads of rosary she hobbled about the house in spotless white with one hand resting on a vest to balance her stoop at the other telling the beads of her rosary so this shows this particular line reveals that the grandmother was religious in nature her silver locks were scattered untidily over her pale puckered face and her lips constantly moved in inaudible prayer her silver locks her gray hair is compared to silver locks by the grandson so what does it indicate that means the grandson always held the grandmother in an exalted position and this adoration this love mingled with respect was always there constantly moved in inaudible prayer and she was such a religious lady that she used to chant prayers constantly which was unheard inaudible yes she was beautiful the author stressed on the beauty that is eternal beauty of the grandmother she was like the winter landscape in the mountains an expanse of pure white serenity breathing peace and contentment so how did the grandmother look like she was like the winter landscape in the mountains with a beautiful simile the grand Uh, son that is kushwan singh compared the grandmother to a winter landscape in the mountains an expanse of pure white serenity an expanse means open white space a pure that means purity virginity reigned in the face of the grandmother white serenity there is a sign of tran tranquility contentment breathing peace and contentment that means extreme form of satisfaction reigns in the face of the grandmother now 
the, from the next part, you will follow my next video. Thank you, children.